first layer done. Second layer done. It reminds me of, um, what was that? Oh, it was at birthday parties where you had to like, take the wrapping paper off, pass it, take the wrapping paper off, pass it. And whoever was the last person got the gift at the end. Right, I'm pretty sure you'll know what this is now. AP box. I am very, very excited to show you guys what this is actually. I've never had this watch before. I have had this model, but I've never had this exact spec. So this is a 15510ST and the dial color is a pretty special one. It's pretty, pretty hard to get. This is a, is it green? I need some natural sunlight. Yeah, it's very dark green, but this is the green dial 15510. I'm just gonna check in the light because it looks very dark. It is. It's greener than you expected. It's darker than I expected. It's like. So here's the thing. I was always I was always told when I was younger that I was colorblind a little bit and I couldn't couldn't distinguish greens and greys. So I'm having a real hard time now saying that this is a green dial. It is. I know 100% that it is. But it just looks darker than I expected, and maybe it's just my eyes. What do you What do you think? I promise no, look, look, look. you. Ah. Yeah. Okay. It's kind it's, of khaki. It is green. It's khaki. It's a very dark khaki, khaki. Yeah. Yeah. Despite you know the difficulties uh, deciding which dark color it is, uh, it is a fantastic watch. It is a 2024. It's brand brand new. So. Very excited to have this. Put that one second. Hello. So, the, wa was saying, right? the watch has come, by the way. Oh, perfect. Yes. So what I was saying, right? Yeah. Absolutely shit me up. So people often ask me if I should put my name down at the AD for any Daytona. Which should I put my name down for? And obviously, the obvious answer is the Panda Daytona or the black version of it, the one two six five hundred LN. If, if not that, probably the second or third watch that I tell them to put their name down for is this one right here. Um, it's probably the best Daytona you can get in terms of, I mean, appearance is sub, uh, subjective, right? But in terms of resale value, this is, I'm excluding the meteorite dial here, by the way. So no, not, not, uh, not including the meteorite, this is probably, the first or second best precious metal Daytona on Oysterflex that you can get. I should have said it's an Oysterflex watch. So you have the chocolate dial, which is super, super popular on rose gold. But for the yellow gold, what is the best option? Well, this is it right here. And this is commonly known and referred to as the Pikachu dial. So this is the Pikachu watch. It's full yellow gold on Oysterflex. Um, and it's the champagne dial with the black sub dials on the dial. And this is the first new reference Pikachu that I've had. And in my previous video, I said that I was very, very excited to get this. And I, I was, and I still am very happy to have this. My personal opinion on the Daytona upgrade is all positive. I very much like the, the new bezel with the, um, the new insert in the bezel, I think it I think it adds quite a lot. I like it. Beautiful watch, this is a 2024, and I actually think this has sold, unfortunately. I did post this on my Instagram, and it sold very, very quickly, underscore watch life. So I'm just checking my diary now, and I have a fair few things that I need to do this week, uh, a few people that I need to see, and I also need to travel on Thursday. That is what my week is looking like. Very vague, not specific at all, but also because the new Rolex releases have come out, I'm always fascinated to see when the first models, the first watches come onto the market. Usually takes a few months. Sometimes like last year, the new Daytonas came out quick. Like Rolex were ready. They were pumping them to the ADs. And then you kind of see like a drip feed of the other models that were new come out later in the year, six to 12 months after. So I'm interested to see when these really, really good releases will be circulating in the market. And hopefully, fingers crossed, if you guys get one, you'll be happy to sell one to me so that I can see one myself uh, and also sell it to somebody else. But for now, I'm gonna head out, enjoy my uh, Monday and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. So another watch that has come in is this one right here. This is a 
Datejust 41 Mint Green, and it's on Oyster Bracelet. This is a 2023 and it's full set. Um, this is sold, and you might be wondering like why even bother showing watches that are sold because you know you can't you can't buy them. Well, I suppose if you did like this watch, you can always let me know, and I can always get another one. And also, it's just on YouTube I post every Sunday. Like today is Tuesday, so you know I might get a watch in and sell it before the video goes live. So it's just one of those things where. You know, um, it can happen sometimes where the watches that I um, get in just sell before the YouTube video comes out. But if you are interested, you can always let me know. Even if it's not this one, obviously you can let me know. But I thought it'd be better just to show what I get. This is all about like my day-to-day -day business life, so I think it's worth showing anyway. I'm now going to head out. I am currently six days in to my seven-day 10K challenge I'm running. 10k every single day for a whole week. So yeah, I've done 60k in the last six, six days. Going all right. But right now I'm gonna head off. Um, I'm gonna go to a cryotherapy session, which should be interesting. So uh, I'll see you there. It's gonna be cold, so wish me luck. Just heading to Hatton Garden now. I need to drop off a watch to Miguel at the watch polishing center. I need to get one of my watches polished. I'm then gonna drop off my mint green date just. Uh, and the guy who's taking that off me is also gonna give me a 2022 root beer two tone, the 1267 11 CHNR. So uh, I'll show you that one got it. More deliveries. You know, I do sometimes think, and I, I wonder with you guys watching this, like, it must be quite boring just to sit in my living room, well, to watch me sit in my living room and just watch me open boxes, but this is kind of the reality of having a watch business. Yes, I do this uh, from here, but if I had an office or, you know, I'd be doing the same sort of stuff, so I'm kind of like, this, yeah, this is this is it. I wish it was more glamorous so that I could perhaps be more entertaining for you guys. But you know, if I don't need to, you know, travel as much, this is just the reality of my days in the week. So um, I think the good news is for me, the watches speak for themselves, and you know, the watches are the main focus point, which is which is good. I guess that's why you guys are watching. Um, so I'm going to open these one sec. First watch that has come in is a 2023 Air King. Um, some people love it, some people hate it. Little bit of a Marmite watch, but do you know what? For the price, relatively speaking, in the world of Rolex prices, it's very good. I sold this just over £6,000 for a 2023, which I think is a bargain. I genuinely do. I think. I forget what they are at retail now, but it's not far from retail price for an Air King, so. And it's also not, it's not an easy watch to get, strangely enough as well. But unique dial, unique numbering on the dial. It's, you know, a pretty, it's a pretty cool watch. You know, I've slated it in the past for whatever reasons I had, but I kind of like it, why not? And then the other watch is, uh, well, this was a watch that I was holding on to because I was, um, I don't want to say persuaded into thinking that it would be discontinued, but I was may maybe hoping it would get discontinued, which is, I don't know how to feel about that actually, because I was, I was holding out because maybe I could have made a few extra quid when, to be honest, I should have, I should have just sold it if I could have. I think I did get one offer the day before um, it was released, but I just decided to keep hold. But anyway, it's, it's a, oh, shut up now. It's a Sprite, it's, a, it's an Oyster Sprite GMT. So the green and the black bezel, left-hand drive. It's unworn, it's it's a stunner, very, very nice. Did I say it's 2024? It's 2024. So that I think is sold. Um, so I might be meeting somebody today. I might be leaving my hamster cage. Actually, I do need to leave my hamster cage because I am heading up north to go collect a date just. 
I will show you what I get when I get it. Let's get the train and let's go buy this date just. So here it is. This is the date just that I went out to get. It was yesterday that I got this. Um, it's a date just 41, blue dial, Jubilee bracelet, and the fluted bezel. And it's a 2022, it's full set, and it's completely unworn. It's even got, I think, a couple of stickers on the clasp as well, and uh, underneath inside the clasp. So this one is uh, ready and available, if you guys like this, at a very, very good price, I will add. Um, so yeah, for you guys that have made it this long into the video, you are my favourite. Thank you so much for watching until now. I'll see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe, and yeah, hope you're doing well. See ya.